Hi folks, my perspective here. In this video clip I'll be looking at images of the moon and from these images we will help to understand that the earth we are living on is actually a flat plane and the moon is in the earth's atmosphere. The moon isn't in deep space and that we are being lied to. So to start off with, here's a man, he has a 50mm camera lens. Now the 50mm camera lens is what the human eye is. It's around about a 50mm. So, the 50mm camera lens cannot perform the tasks of a microscope. We know that. It's unreasonable to expect the camera lens, the 50mm camera lens, to do the task of a microscope. And the same applies to a telescope. A 50mm camera lens cannot, ha cannot have the same focal length and range of a telescope. So in other words, if I see the moon and my camera lens, this 50mm lens can focus on the moon and on the mountains and on the clouds, means the moon has to be within focal range of that 50mm camera lens. The moon cannot be in deep space. And it's not about size, it's about focal length. So why do we expect this 50mm lens to behave like a massive telescope? And during the day, right, you notice that when you see the moon during the day and you photograph it, the moon reflects the colors of the Earth's atmosphere. So why is that? Well, it's simple. The moon is reflecting the colors that is surrounding it. For that to happen, the moon must be in the Earth's atmosphere. So during the day, you'll see those colors in the sky and nighttime at sunset in dusk and dawn you'll see the colors in the earth's atmosphere reflecting off the moon it means the moon has to be in the earth's atmosphere for this to happen so the human eye and that 15 mil camera lens cannot see the moon and the and the the mountains and the clouds all in focus all together through the earth's atmosphere you can see the moon in focus another issue is reflections look at this image notice how the mountain from the horizon line the mountains are reflected like a mirror the perfect distance the boat the mountains the clouds but also the moon. You see, if the moon in this position should be 400,000 kilometers in the back, further away from you in Z space, right? Well, how can its reflection be in front of you? Right, so you'll say, well, the mountains, you know, are a few kilometers away and they're perfectly reflected, but the moon is 400,000 kilometers away and yet its reflection is the same principle as the mountains how can reflection of the moon if it's directly in front of you 400,000 kilometers away reflect in the ocean floor it simply cannot you see if the earth was a ball and you see the, the moon on the horizon the moon's reflection would be round and it would be on the other side of the ball. You cannot see the reflection of the moon in front of you, a few kilometers in front of you. And this is simple. You can't escape this fact. And this shows us that we are not living on a ball. We're living on a flat plane and the water is flat. That's why this, the moon and its reflection, and the reflection is elongated, like this. If it was a ball, a curve, you wouldn't see the reflection. You can kiss this image goodbye and all beautiful images like that would be non-existent. So the clouds, right, 
that are above you are reflected below you and so is the moon if it's above you it's re it's reflected directly below the moon because the reflection of the clouds and the moon the principle applies to both and the moon is sharp in focus to the human eye because it's in focal range of the human eye as the moon moves away the same applies to the mountains and now we're going to look at the throw of light you see the moon only reflects light on the clouds surrounding it the moon has a limited throw of light and its reflection and its limited throw of light help us to understand that it's in the earth's atmosphere and that the ocean is flat 100% flat from the horizon to you so you can comfortably say then well this means the entire earth the water is 100% flat the oceans are flat so let's have a look you have a lens right you see the moon you pull a focus your focal range from the clouds to the moon and you can zoom in on the clouds and the moon and they all zoom in in proportion and you can see the moon crisp and clear how can you see the moon crisp and clear through the entire earth's atmosphere and you can focus on the moon and the earth's atmosphere doesn't distort the moon if the moon's in deep space So it's the fact that the moon is sharp, you can pull a focus on it from the clouds to the moon and its reflection is elongated, tells us that, that we're living on a flat plane. You see if the moon was 400,000 kilometers in space, the shadows would be super elongated. How can light reflect off the moon and travel through space? 400,000 kilometers away it's simply impossible and look at the shadows the shadows of the clouds would be extremely long and distorted the shadow of the yacht would be long and distorted and there would be no elongated moon reflection so you can do this yourself Take your camera, focus on the moon, then pull a focus to the trees in front of the moon and look at it. your camera lens does this with ease. Look how sharp the moon is. When you zoom in and out, I'm not talking about a digital zoom, I'm talking about a zoom lens. And then ask yourself, well if it's a full moon like that image, that very very bit of video footage how can you see a full moon in a day because what we are taught is the moon would have to be on the opposite side of the earth you on the the sun side and you cannot see through the ball you cannot see around the curve of the ball that you are on so no matter how far you extend the moon along that line in the distance right the moon just simply just gets smaller and stay on, on that same line in Z-space. Yet we can take an image of the moon and the sun above the horizon. We see its throw of light is limited and the reflection of the moon on the water tells us that the moon is in the Earth's atmosphere. It's above the clouds and the water is flat. The Earth is flat. Look, let's take simple things. He has a reflection of a bird, right? And we see the reflection of the mountains. Look at the reflection of the clouds. This is how we see in perspective. Now, when a bird flies and it moves its, its distance away from you, it gets smaller and gets bigger. And the reflection of the, the bird in the water 
is a principle applied to this. It's the same below as it is above. It means the waters must be flat. We apply the same principle to the moon. In the moon, as it moves away from you and comes towards you, and its reflection is above from the horizon, it's the equal distance, means you're living on a flat plane. 